know is I know like the wave, but I don't even know if that's No, you don't know it. Well, you can feel free to carry it on. <laughs> okay. Oh, Nikki Novak! Sorry. That was the best introduction ever! <laughs> With a man that needs no introduction, Matthew Morrison. We're here in the Young Hollywood studio. I'm Nikki Novak. This is fun already. It's, we're having a good time. <laughs> we are. Before we start rolling, Matthew can hear a voice and know where somebody is from. Are you from Canada? Wow. That was good. Okay, I got a little tinge of something. That in was there. good. Well, you've hidden it very well. You have a talent of <laughs> being more Americanized, but I, I, I noticed a little bit of Canada in there. So. There was a little O Canada in there. Yeah. So this film, you play a dancer on a spoof of a, of like a, a dance reality show. Yeah, I love show. it. It's a Celebrity Dance Factor season 15. That's right. It was season 15, <laughs> yes. And your dance partner is Cameron Diaz, who is a famous actress. And So one little thing I noticed about the film okay. is there were a lot of characters very, you know, Elizabeth Banks in particular, would sit at home and watch your show mm -hmm. wearing a Snuggie. Mm -hmm. Do you own a Snuggie? I do not. Why? I think they're a little ridiculous. You do? I would feel ridiculous in a Snuggie. You um, would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I would. Do you have a Snuggie? I don't. See? <laughs> Does anyone here have a Snuggie? No. There's See? a lot of heads nodding Come up on. and down. Dude, she's totally doing him. I knew I was going to have a rack this gorgeous. I would have gotten knocked up years ago. <gasps> I heard that when you were younger, there was like a little break dance competition, or you were involved in like a break dance. Gang? Gang yeah. of sorts. You can say it. Were they rebels? Okay, were you rebels? America. <laughs> um, um, no, we, well, we thought we were a little hard, a little badass, but uh, in Did reality... You black snuggies? In Was reality... That, and then you drop them and you start breaking dancing? No. That only happens in Canada. Come on! Got it! Got no, it. Uh, we thought we were harder than we were, but in reality we were just, you know, I grew up in Orange County, California, so... We, it wasn't that hard. The OC. Yeah, the mean streets of the OC. Do you have any seated breakdance moves you can teach me? The only thing I know is I know like the wave, but I don't even know if that's. No, you don't dancing. know it. Well, you can feel free to carry it on. What? You gave me nothing. So how am I supposed to hold carry on, it on? Hold on, hold on, I can do this. Okay. <laughs> 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 no, no. Do you not like Canadians? No, 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 no. Oh, I mean. Oh, oh. Uh oh. I don't know. Okay. Did you have a signature move? Did you have a signature breakdance? Um, I had three signature moves. Oh, what I had it? the the one handed handstand where I kind of go like this, and you, my feet are up here, and I'm just like on one hand. Um, and I I did the uh, I did windmills, and kind of just like your body, you're kind of on your back and just going around. And then I have this thing uh, called donkey kicks, where you just like ooh, you just on the ground like it's so. Is weird. that like the Russian dance? A little bit, but you're actually down. You go down back. Your hands. I, this is interesting because I heard that before a scene, sometimes you do a headstand. If I'm tired, I do because it kind of rushes the blood to your head, and, and then you, you look really you, good. You get a little camera. burst of energy. So we have um, some Twitter questions from some of your fans. Can't wait! I'm very excited. First one from Untamed Warbler wants to know who were your musical influences growing up? Um, Elton John and Sting. M. Morrison's girl wants to know, was it daunting starring along, along Cameron Diaz? Actually, Cameron and I knew each other before oh, you did? the show. Yeah, we were, we're friends. So uh, it was, but it was the first time we actually worked together. So it was a different, you know, circumstances of being together. And I've, but I've always respected her and I respect her even more so after having done this movie with her. Wemites wants to know, how was working on what to expect when you're expecting different from working on Glee? Um, what I loved about it is that you, you're telling a full story that has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And you can kind of read the script and say, okay, this is where my character starts and this is where he ends up. On Glee, you don't, have the, you don't know what's coming up because it just keeps going and going and you don't know what is going to happen with your character. And Comment Insider wants to know, do you have any hidden talents besides being a triple threat? Um, I'm a terrific bowler. Yeah. Interesting. I can throw the rock down the aisle. I never heard of being called the rock before. I didn't either, I just made it up. <laughs> and then when I said it, I was like, wait, maybe that's curling. I don't know, because that actually is a, like a stone, so 